We head into the kitchen to make a great meal with a lot of flavors from Thailand. Here's Chef Scott in the kitchen. Hi, Chef Brad Scott from the Kitchens of Scott Community College. You know, my wife and I like to go out for Thai food every now and then. And this dish is so easy to make and so inexpensive that you can do this at home. So let's get started. I've got about a quarter pound of tofu that I drained and patted dry. I've got some green onions, some cilantro, a little fish oil, a little brown sugar, some chili powder, some tamarind or soy sauce, a little crushed peanut, a little coconut, an egg, and of course some shrimp. So let's get started. I'm going to cube this tofu into small little pieces. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of corn oil to my wok and make sure we get that good and hot. Then I'm going to add my tofu right to the hot oil. And we're going to do a little stir fry. Now we want to get this nice and brown before we add anything else. Probably about two to three minutes. Just keep it moving. You know, really tofu just picks up the flavor of whatever you put in it. And since we're making this crispy, it won't have that real spongy taste to it. I think that's what gets everybody. You know, you can make this dish without the tofu and straight shrimp, chicken, beef, Whatever you like. My wife and I were really surprised when they added tofu, and we loved it. It's browning out nicely. Now we're going to add our shrimp. Make sure they're patted dry as well. Anytime you mix oil and moisture, you're going to get quite a bit of popping. So if you put a paper towel on this shrimp, you'll be fine. About two minutes, moving it all the time. Now I've taken the liberty of pre-soaking some rice noodles for about 20 minutes so that they're al dente or still firm to the tooth. All right, so we're going to add our green onions. We're going to add our cilantro. Oh, about a quarter cup. About three tablespoons of brown sugar. About two tablespoons of fish oil. A nice mix. Oh, that's a great smell coming. About a tablespoon of chili sauce. More if you like it really spicy. This just adds a little kick to it. And about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Don't use the Kikamans or you'll get a real teriyaki flavor. We're not trying for teriyaki today. And about a teaspoon of coconut oil. Again, moving it all the time. I'm going to break up about two leaves of basil. Lots of flavor profiles work in here. I'm going to take the egg and I'm going to whip it up, get it good and incorporated, and I'm going to add it right to my hot sauce, stirring all the time. Then about a cup of noodles per person. You're going to want to let this simmer so you'll turn it down to about medium low. And just give it time to absorb those flavors. All right, so now I take about half the peanuts and I'm going to add them. We add them at the end so that you still get that crunch and we're ready to plate. Those of you that know me know that I love one pan cooking and this is it. Let's get all that shrimp. We're going to finish it with the rest of our peanuts, a little cilantro for the top. So many flavor profiles. Mama Karen's favorite Thai dish. You won't even know there's tofu in it.